Detection of proteins in electrophoresis gels. A protein electrophoresis gel may be stained to reveal all protein bands. Alternatively, specific antibodies may be used to detect specific proteins. A. Gel staining. Comasi Blue G250 staining of proteins in gels. Here we demonstrate the protocol of Comasi Blue G250 staining. Please prepare the staining solution before disassembling the gel cassette sandwich. One electrophoresis mini gel will need 25 milliliters of staining solution. In addition, have the staining box and deionized water ready to use. 1. Remove the gel from the cassette. First, carefully push out two spacers from the gel cassette sandwich to create some space at both sides of the gel. Insert one spacer into a corner between the plates and use this as leverage to slowly separate and remove the glass plate. If you encounter difficulty, adding a few drops of distilled water or electrophoresis buffer may help. Be careful not to tear the gel. The gel usually stays with the aluminum plate. Rinse it with distilled water to prevent it from sticking too tightly. Depending on the experiment, decide whether or not to cut the gel. Find the boundary line between the upper and lower gel and cut the gel along the line with a spacer or razor blade. Make sure to cut through the gel completely to avoid serrated edge resulted from tearing. Cut off the upper gel, push the separated upper gel away and onto a piece of paper towel for disposal. This way, the discarded gel will not stick to other objects. 2. Staining and Distaining Cut away the lower left corner of the gel as a reference of orientation. Inverse the aluminum plate so that the attached gel faces downward. Use a spacer to peel the gel down to the staining box containing 25 milliliters deionized water. You may see the gel slides down acceleratedly due to gravity. Put the lid on the box. Wash the gel with shaking for 5 minutes. Pour away the liquid waste. Add 25 milliliters deionized water, put the lid back on. Repeat the washing process two more times to completely remove SDS. Next, switch the water with 25 milliliters staining solution and stain the gel with shaking for at least 25 minutes or overnight. After staining, open the lid, pour the used staining solution into a designated container for storage. Finally, add 25 milliliters deionized water to wash the gel with shaking for 5 minutes. By now, you can see blue protein bands appear in the gel. Pour the liquid waste into a designated container. You may wash the gel with deionized water a few more times with shaking until the protein bands become distinct against a transparent gel background. 3. Taking gel pictures. Pour away the water after washing. Hold the gel by hand to allow excess water to drip away and spread the gel on a light box. Turn on the light. Take gel pictures using a cell phone or camera. After taking the pictures, Carefully move the gel back to a container or seal the gel in clear food wrap for storage. Remember to wipe away residual liquid from the light box and turn off the power. 4. Sealing the gel for storage The equipment needed to seal a gel for long-term storage include a thick glass plate, a platform, two pieces of clear food wrap 4 centimeters wider than the glass plate on each side, at least four binder clips, a glass rod, and a sink with a tap. Be careful not to cause bubble formation during the procedure, or the gel may break later due to uneven drying. First, set the glass plate horizontally on the platform. Wet a piece of food wrap under the tap, spread the food wrap on the glass plate, and center it so that it stretches over the four edges of the glass plate equally. Smooth the food wrap by hand to squeeze away any bubbles between the food wrap and glass plate. Drop some water on the food wrap. Carry the gel by hand and slowly lay it flatly on the food wrap with care. Avoid bubbles between the gel and food wrap. 
Add some more water around the gel. Take the other piece of food wrap and wet it under the tap. Align this one with the wrap under the gel. Start from one side and slowly lay down the food wrap to cover the gel. Remember to prevent any bubbles between the food wrap and gel as well. Roll the glass rod over the sandwich a few times. Double check to make sure no bubbles between the gel and food wraps. They must attach each other tightly. Raise the glass plate, fold the oversized part of food wraps downward around the edges of the glass plate neatly, and secure with binder clips at the corners and edges of the glass plate. Next, inverse the plate. Let it stand and dry. After one to two days, the gel will be dry and ready to be removed. Cut unwanted fruit wrap around the gel with a pair of scissors. Put the gel into a Ziploc bag for long-term storage. Your gel has been sealed and stored. Thank you for watching.